Hello, welcome back to the channel. And as the title of this video would suggest, today we are celebrating the removal of the roof from very special cars. I think to demonstrate why we do this, uh, I've gone and opted for the McLaren 600 LT Spider. This is one of the cars that just got the formula right of uh, why removing the roof and particularly one specific functionality that comes with the removal of a roof uh, adds so much drama and excitement to a car. But before we uh, immerse you in the driver's seat, let's have a walk and talk around this specific car and the spec of it because it is heavily loaded. And uh, then once you've got a good feel for how it looks, let's hop in the seat, see what it's all about with the roof up and importantly, down. So here it is. I may or may not have mentioned this at some point, but uh, the McLaren 600 LT Coupe or Spider is actually one of my all time favorite road cars. I just think they nailed the balance of performance and playfulness in this package. Anyway, more of that when we go driving. Uh, spec of the car. Uh, this is painted in vermilion red. It is a stunning color. It's got a heavy pearlescent fleck draped over the sculpture of the 600 LT. Looks fantastic. But first of all, some specifics to do with this car. So 600 LT, regardless of it being a coupe or spider, has more aggressive body styling. Not only does that look fantastic, but true to McLaren's ethos, it's all about performance and purpose first and foremost. So we have this dramatic front splitter here. Um, this is all about increased downforce and air float. And then these side strakes keep the air tucked in alongside the car to reduce turbulence. Now this car is optioned with the optional extra louvers here. That is to release air pressure from inside the wheel well, because at higher speeds, that would generate a pressure which would generate nose lift. And the whole point is to keep the nose on the floor for aerodynamic efficiency. You can see as well that this car is optioned with a lot of carbon fiber. These inserts here are carbon, even on the inside of where the door handle is, the air intakes, top air intake, that's all carbon, massive, carbon side blades here and then round to the rear uh, this is probably one of the single largest pieces of carbon fiber that i've seen on any road car you know, look at the size of that diffuser it's colossal what i particularly like is that from the rear you can see the stance and squat of the tire through this sculpted out area of the rear bumper it feels so race car you've just got this sort of suspended fin here once again it's not just there for show it's all about channeling air reducing lift etc and then you've got these these big slots in the uh bumper here now this combined with and if i could get up close you can see that the inner section of the lights is actually a mesh once again not for effect the mesh and these slots here are all to do with cooling it's about extracting hot air uh, from inside the engine bay there now what is unique to the 600 lt and lt spider is the exit of the exhaust is on top of the engine bay now in a minute i'll demonstrate how fantastic that sounds particularly when you drop the roof or importantly drop that rear window there and that's a specific feature that i want to talk about when we go driving uh, that is unique to being able to remove the roof of this car is being able to just drop the back window and keep the roof up should you wish the difference in sound is night and day now let's talk about the wing so left and right carbon fiber and then this central section here is coated with a special heat resistant material for obvious reasons it sits directly next to those exhausts which at night time you can see throw out very hot blue flames the car is packed full of drama through and through all right let's move on to the interior which is equally as special on this car to open these cars there's a little button look just there you can barely see it but when you run your hand underneath it's enough to feel it and up pop these beautiful doors uh, once again carbon fiber everywhere now if i go inside the first thing that will hit you is that these have the now famous senna seats uh, this is one of the lightest configurations that you can spec on a uh, 600 lt uh, the seats contributing massively to that i think the seats just on their own uh, weigh five kilograms which is nothing for a seat of well first of all that beauty but also that quality it's lined with bespoke leather pads i love how it's chopped out it's all about removing anything that doesn't have to be there and ultimately all of these extra sections here which would normally be, be full of padding and fabrics have been sculpted and chopped back but just look fundamentally look how thin 
the seat is and it, and it maintains that circumference the whole way around. It is a beautiful thing to behold even before you've sat in it and take it from me, despite the fact that, that they look fairly purposeful. It's amazing just how comfortable these seats actually are. Now that carbon theme follows through onto the dashboard here. So we've got optional carbon here. Uh, we've got the Bowers and Wilkins tweeter on the top. I'll show you the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which is also shrouded uh, by this big carbon panel. The Bowers and Wilkins speaker, which sits nicely in there. And then going back on the inside, let's go and just check out the steering wheel, which once again, you guessed it, has been optioned with the carbon fiber inserts with extended carbon fiber on the up and down paddles, which actually have a matte finish to them. Yeah, now one thing I particularly like about the stripped out LT series of McLarens is that they don't go and put carpet on the floor here. So you can see that you are quite literally sat inside a carbon fiber tub. Look, it's beautifully constructed. It goes all the way up here. I just think it gives you another sense of appreciation for just how much carbon there is on and in this car. It's a stunning thing. So yes, that's a sort of basic overview of the spec of this car. Once again, vermilion red, lots of carbon fiber, optional carbon louvers on the wheel arches. Now let's get down to what this thing is all about, which is the very exciting drive. Of a 
sudden, this portal of sound induction that you did have when the roof was up. As I said, right at the beginning, that's the sweet spot. But I now want to touch on why we do it and why ultimately this is the last and final stage. Why do we take, and take this car for example, because it's, it, it's ultimately, arguably, if you look at this car on paper, it is from a performance point of view, worse for having the roof mechanism because it adds weight. McLaren particularly in the 600 LT, wet weight, this car is coming in around about 1300 or just over 1300 kilograms. For a car which is 600 horsepower and 1300 kilograms, the performance is mind bending. It, it's such an exquisite feeling when you have almost 600 pounds feet of torque underneath your right foot, 600 horsepower with a, a uh, overall wet weight of 1300 kilograms. The effortless nature and the exciting throttle response and pickup that that formula creates is outstanding. But you add in the roof retracting mechanism and it adds another 50 kilograms on the weight of the car. Now in most cars that would be a problem, but in a car that's so light, 50 kilograms is a massive amount. So why do we do it? Why do we do it in any car? Take the 458 Speciale Aperta, a lightweight car where you can take off the roof. And it always seems to be the swan song of that particular special ed edition car. They'll launch the 600 LT and then it'll go out with a bang, the 600 LT Spider. Well, let's pair it back to the fundamentals of why these cars exist in the first place. They're fun. They're stimulating vehicles. The idea of these things is that you step out of the drive and you realize that you've just been on a special journey. Now without the roof off, that special journey looks like an incredible road noise. The fact that the car is beautifully sculpted, it looks fantastic before you've even stepped into it. And then of course in the LT specifically, you have the exhausts which are three feet behind your ear holes so that when you do get those whip cracks on the downshifts, they are amplified to a degree which I've never experienced in any other car. Having the exhaust that close is outstanding. And then you've got the LT ethos. Now LT is short for long tail. This car technically is a longer tailed version of the uh, 570S, but only by a few millimeters. LT really is more of an ethos of a brand rather than the fact that it is a longer tailed version of the car. LT harking back to the McLaren F1 LT which was so successful at racing, the whole idea behind it is to let you know that this is a driver focused, pure, raw, lighter, stripped out car. One thing which they do which dramatically enhances the feeling of sportiness and specialness is by stiffening up the engine mounts. What that does is, is it allows a lot more vibration from the engine to come through this carbon chassis up through these carbon seats and all of a sudden you become more of a component of the car. And then when you have these massive whip crack downshifts, those vibrations on the overrun are conducted right through your coccyx and you really feel like you're in something a lot more lively. What I'm trying to say here is these cars exist for theatre, drama, stimulus. You want to get out of it at the other side and go, yes, I've just been for a drive in something pretty serious. That's what this is all about. It's about enhancing your connection with the drive. One thing that this does better than anything else, or any convertible does better than anything with windows down or whatever it might be, is connects you with the environment you're driving in. Now on a day like today, the birds are singing. It might be overcast, but the air is warm. The exhaust heat, I can feel it on the back of my neck. When I get those whip cracks, they are amplified tenfold because I've got this roof off. All of a sudden, I'm connected with the elements around me. I can even smell the grass, which has recently been cut by the local farmer in that field there. All of it, all of a sudden, I'm in the environment rather than driving through it. I am now part of it, and it is further enhancing the fun factor. That's what these cars are all about. We're in it to step out with a smile. This here, this is the smile actuator. When you take this roof off, all of a sudden, the levels of engagement are just amplified to no end. And that's what it's all about. You get all of that together, woo -hoo -hoo, and you get a bit of this. Just that short burst of acceleration, 
underneath that bridge, the sounds reverberated, bounced down from underneath the bridge and back down into the cabin. It's something you just wouldn't have been able to have appreciated and, and heard if it wasn't for the fact that the roof was off.